In this video I'll be showing you how you can grow chili peppers in water. I'll be showing you how you can build a hydrophonic system, a very simple hydrophonic system without having to spend any money. Hello and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to my channel I'm Ali Raja. Whew. Guys embrace yourself for the heat wave in London. Today is the 11th of July and the weather in London is absolutely beautiful. In a few days time the temperature is going to reach to about 35 degrees Celsius in London. Make sure to water your plants twice a day. Let's show you how you can build this hydrophonic system without having to spend any money. This method of uh, growing chilies in water is known as the Kratky hydrophonic system. For this um, hydrophonic system all you need is empty buckets such as this uh, with a lid on. These are some of the containers I kept. Um, this came with the chicken manure pellets and um, fish, blood and bone, which I kept. I don't normally throw them away. I normally start, I normally uh, transplant my chili seedlings in a container this size. This is a three inch pot. So this is how I make my cracky hydrophonic system using the contain, using containers such as this. Cut a hole in the center of the uh, lid here so that this container can fit in there and so that it holds it tight. Fill up the container with water, adding your liquid plant feed. Now I'll explain to you, I'll show you the plant feed that I use a little bit later. So fill up the container with water so that once you put the lid on, the bottom of this container is just above the water. This container should not be drowned. So the water should be just touching the bottom or just below it. This is after six weeks. Mashallah, I have a beautiful looking plant. So I would say the plant has grown about one and a half foot tall and it has beautiful looking root. Don't they look amazing? That's beautiful. And I'm happy to say I have chilies on the plants. I have two or three chilies and it's starting to bloom and flower. And I'm hoping in about another six weeks time, this plant would be about a meter tall all bushed out with plenty of chilies on it. Now you need to add nutrients into the water for the plant to grow otherwise your plant won't grow. There are so many products in the market which you can buy but if you want to keep it simple without having to spend a lot of money just use something like um, phosphogen um, plant food. These are highly soluble plant food or you could use uh, all-purpose soluble medical grow plant food. Um, read the back of the packet to see how much you need to use. So let's say you're using 10 litres of water. On this one it says every 4.5 litre use one scoop. So I'll be using two scoops in one, two gallons of water. Mix it well and then place your plant on the top. As the plant starts taking nutrients, the plant will start getting taller and you'll see the roots start getting longer. After a few weeks, you'll, you'll find the water will start going down. That's when you need to add, uh, replace water. So replace the water by adding nutrients to it. Just making sure you, you're leaving an air gap between the bottom of the, um, uh, this container by about two inches. So you're not drown, drowning all the roots. You're leaving about two inches roots above the water. Otherwise your plant will drown. I need another extra hole here. I don't know. I don't know whether you can see this. Uh, this is uh, this hole is for me to add the nutrients. So what, as the plant gets bigger, it'll be difficult for you to open the uh, lid. So make another hole on the top of uh, on the lid, so that uh, as the water goes down, you could add nutrients uh, through this hole. 
as the plants start getting taller, you'll find the plants start getting, uh, start moving about. It's going to get heavier. So it's not going to hold in one place. So this is what you could do. You could get a few canes and maybe using sellotapes, uh, tape the canes around this uh, container here and then tie your stems with these canes so that it doesn't move about. So I'm going to be putting about three or four canes to make a cage basically. So just basically make a cage and using sellotapes tape it around the uh, container and hopefully this will stay in one place and then tie these stems using a string tie the stem with these canes so it's going to stay straight and it will be strong and hopefully the stems won't break I'm hoping you'll get plenty of chilies from it I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with friends and family give it a try it's not difficult do something different have some fun happy gardening assalamu alaikum and i'll see you in the next one